In the metals quadrant, taking a look at the December gold contract, which is now down seven straight sessions. And that hasn't happened since basically the end of June through the first few days of July of 2022. Not only that, but we're actually down eight of the last 10 sessions. And if you go from that recent high close on September 20th, gold's price has dropped almost six and a half percent in that particular stretch. Now, today we finished down about a third of 1%. On the low, we were down just short of nine tenths of 1% at 1830 and 90 cents. On the high, 1849.30, that was barely up a tenth of 1%. As I mentioned, we closed down about a third of a percent. We're in the midst of a seasonal pause right now, and that may not seem like a, a logical statement to make given the sell-off we've had. I just mentioned how we were down seven consecutive sessions. But the typical seasonal pattern shows a pause between late September and late October. Sideways movement is what I mean by a pause. The typical seasonal rally starts at the end of July and peaks out temporarily either in the beginning of or around the third week of the month of September. Then through October, we have basically some sideways movement up and down, but nothing above those September highs. Now remember, this is seasonal price action, not actual price action. So if you go back and look at the past year at those particular months I just mentioned, you may not see the same behavior. We're talking about blended price action over say 20 or 30 years. It's historical, typical seasonal price action. But then when that sideways movement ends, from September to October, October we end a set we enter a second seasonal spike that usually lasts until about the first week of December and often all the way through Christmas. Why am I telling you this? Because seasonality is not providing a headwind or a tailwind for gold's price action right now. But what is providing a headwind for it is U.S. yields, which continue to march higher and higher, hitting gold prices. And you look at yields up between two and 11 basis points today, depending on which part of the curve you're looking at. But look over the last month, the two years up four basis points over the last month, but the five year is up 22 basis points. The 10 year up 35 basis points, hitting 4.8% today. And the 30 year up 39 per basis points, 4.92%. That's a real headwind for the price of gold.